Hey everyone, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. Alright, let's go ahead and let's get started. This is going to be for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's see what is going on with cancers. All right, so cancers, uh, I'm seeing some recovering taking place from you guys. It looks like you're you're healing. I also feel like you have been protecting your peace, protecting your space. And I feel like that's why you're able to heal now because of something that you did to protect yourself spiritually, to protect your peace, to, to protect yourself. I feel like some of you may have even been staying to yourself. But it looks like whatever you were doing some of you could have been doing yoga, meditation, um, something feeling like physical, some maybe some sort of physical movement, physical activity. But I feel like it was being done to get centered and to get grounded. But I feel like that's helping you heal. Rather that was your intention or not, whatever you were doing, it's actually helping you heal. I'm also getting here something unexpected coming your way. Some sort of unexpected news. Some sort of unexpected information. It feels like a surprise. So I feel like you can expect some sort of unexpected news. Some sort of surprise or information uh, that's going to come your way. I feel like whatever this information is, is going to lead to something taking off for you. Because it looks like everything that you've been doing is leading up to this moment that's going to be happening for you in the near future. So doing some sort of physical work, mentally, emotionally, physically, to protect yourself, staying to yourself, getting grounded, healing right now, helping you to heal, helping you to recover. And it's like the next thing is, bam, here comes something unexpected, unexpected happening and taking off in your life. It's leading up to a good surprise. Yeah, what is uh, coming in for what's helping you is that you're starting over. We got the Page of Cups coming in. So it feels like, you know, typically the Cancer is the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups. What's helping you is that you're the Page of Cups. So that is telling me that there is something new that's happening within you. So it's like, it's not like you're going backwards. It feels like rebuilding. So you are rebuilding yourself, rebuilding your life. And I feel like this is helping. There is something that I feel like you're doing that's helping heal your heart space as well. I also feel like some of you will start to feel more open to dating. Or some of you are going to start thinking about uh, getting out there and dating. But I'm hearing, I'm seeing rather when pigs fly, right? But um, it's, it's the new thought that's coming in. Like, hmm, do I want to get back out there? Am I open? I feel like there will be like a small opening. It's not going to be big. It will be some sort of small open. You see the pig with the wings right there? Yeah, I feel like it's a small opening to, hmm, I may be interested in dating. I may be interested in opening my heart back up to love. It's the thought around it. Because I don't feel like you're completely closed off to it. You're just having to, you know, regrow go through some things because I feel like you've had to heal some inner child wounds right and so as you have healed those inner child wounds you went through your dark night of the soul you were in your dark place it's like your heart had to get ripped open but it also had to heal because look it's getting so so back up so I feel like like I said as you're going through the process of healing you're starting to reframe your thinking where you could have been like no 
love is painful. I'm not going to experience it again. It's like the thought is creeping through. And that's actually coming in. That's what's helping. Sorry about that. All right. So um, let's see what's challenging you right now. Because we got the helping. What is challenging cancers right now? Okay, so there's still some negative thinking, which is probably why we're in this page of cups too. And this is to be expected because like I said, you're still growing. You're still having to grow and having to learn. So what's challenging you is breaking free from some sort of negative way of thinking. That's still a part of you some way, somehow, some sort of thought. So I feel like you're having a hard time. Um, in that area, it's like everything is not going to be perfect. No one's perfect, right? You still have some challenges when it comes to the way that you think. And that's why I said with this page of cups, what's helping you is that where you were closed off to something, a little bit of you is starting to open up. The more you heal, the more open and receptive you will be to love. But the challenge is there's still some negative thinking that could be holding you back. There's still some negative thinking that is challenging you. So not 100%. You're not that queen, king of cups energy, right? You're in that page. You're still learning and growing and certain things are going to have to fall away or certain things will start to fall away um, as you continue to heal and grow. So I wouldn't take, you know, the challenge as some sort of defeating challenge. I would take it as an opportunity to say, yeah, I know that I still have some negative thinking that may still challenge me, but nevertheless, as you grow and heal, more growth is going to take place. So take it as a learning opportunity to know that certain things you know, are going to trigger you. Certain things are triggering still. All right, I do wanna see about your external influences. All right, so the, okay, so you have a, a person that's coming through for your external influence. There is definitely a specific person. This person right here. There is some sort of person, and when I say your external, I'm talking specifically about the people, um, you know, whether it's a person or a job, um, money, some, whatever that external outside of you that's still um, coming up. So we do see that there is some sort of person hmm look at this you got the knight of wands so whoever this person is there's something about your energy cancers that i feel like this person has a problem with interesting yeah there's someone i feel like this whoever this person is they are they're at a distance i don't feel like they're around you but I do feel, I, first thing I felt was some judgment, like they're judging you. But I also feel like there is some deep-seated jealousy. I don't know who the person is to you. For some of you, it could be um, a family member, a co-worker, or a friend. It's not going to be the same person. But I do feel like there is someone on the outside of you, a person that has been through a lot, but they see you. And they feel some sort of, they have some sort of judgment and jealousy towards you. There's something about your confidence, something about the, the way that you do things, something about your attitude and your strength, your passion, how you don't care. Like you can have fun by yourself, right? There's something about how you don't care. And I'm also getting here some sort of admiration, but it's like, it's covered with jealousy though. Like I feel like, and I feel like that's why you're catching this person's attention because they, they wish they were more like you, but they would never say it or admit it. I need to know why this person is coming through. Whoever this person is cancer, it feels like a hater. That's what it feels like to me. Like th this, that's why I wanted to use this deck too. It feels like someone, if you just look, it feels like someone that's a hater. And I feel like they're a hater towards you because of something as it pertains to your energies, the things that you do, your confidence. Like even you smiling and being happy bothers this person. 
why is this person hating on cancers? Why is this coming through? They have a toxic mentality. So I definitely wouldn't take it personal because there's something deeper going on with this person. You're triggering some sort of unhealed and even some sort of unconscious energy, um, something going on within this person. Yeah, see, an ex-hater will reach out to try and reconcile with you. That's probably why it's coming through. They have a toxic mentality. And this may be someone that will reach out to you. Yeah, I feel like you're not taking this personal or you're not bothered. Like I said, I don't feel like you're bothered by it. And that's probably what bothers them. You're not bothered by them. You pay this person, whoever it is, rather it's a man or a woman, you pay this person no mind. And this could also just speak to the people that you have dealt with, how you're just not paying the external um, influences any mind. Yeah, look, see, purposely triggering you to mess with your day. This is someone that tries to do things, see, because you're happy. That's what I'm talking about. See, just you being happy irritates this person. And but look, you're unbothered. You are that's the energy that I'm giving getting from you guys is being so unbothered. And because you're you're happy and because you're you're obviously doing something because it's the nine of wands. That's that's an active energy. There's something that you actually do that triggers this person so they don't want to see you happy they get jealous and envious and then try to do things to make you miserable to make you unhappy let's get one more card posting things directed towards you instead of coming to you directly and look at the under our energy. This hater don't like to show their face. They keep themselves hidden. See, look at that. This is someone you don't know. Sending hate emails. You see, they, they don't show their face. So maybe they're coming at you through social media. Or like I said, using some form of technology to get at you. Maybe you have a page, rather it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and they say things. This, this could even be trolls or this person could be trolling you, but they're not. These, these could be people that don't even show their face and they're doing it indirectly. See, posting things directed towards you, but they're not going to like say your name or direct or, or if they do, they use a fake account or something. They're not showing who they are. That's why it says they don't like to show their face. They keep themselves hidden. So this isn't someone, this is someone, you know, but this is someone that is hiding this animosity, this hate and energy, this jealousy towards you. This is someone that wants to lower your self-esteem because you have some sort of healthy esteem. That's especially as you heal and grow, your light, this is probably why you stay to yourself. Right? As you're healing and growing, this light, this confidence within you is attracting this hater, this person that's jealous of you, this person that uses fake accounts to message you in some sort of indirect way in order to lower your esteem. In order to make you miserable because they're miserable. I want to know why you need to know about this person though. Hmm. They are in their head because they feel like you one up them. I was looking at the next cards that followed, but let me see. I want to get more insight. Why Why? Why does this uh, matter? Let me see. Why does this matter? I want to see. First off, I want to see. Tell me about cancers. What they see in you. Tell me about cancers. What are they seeing in, the, in cancer that has them so bothered? What are they seeing in cancers that have them so bothered? 
We got, look at here, wow child. <laughs> You're different, that's why. <laughs> You're different. You being different has them so bothered. It says the wow rebellious side of you keeps people on a roller coaster. You are not afraid to break the rules and rebel against authority to achieve your goals. That's what I'm saying, like you're different. You're, you're attaching, attracting this energy because they wish they were more like you. you remember I always said, you're having a good time by yourself. This would be someone that needs people around them. This would be someone who has low self-esteem and so they feed off of others to help boost their own self-esteem. That's why they'll come at you and try to down you to make themselves feel good. But you're unbothered by what they're doing. They don't like the fact that you are unbothered. And yeah, look at here. We got psychic dreams coming through. So you, some of you could have some sort of, yeah, mind power. There's some sort of gift that you could have too. Yeah, it says here you're a higher level soul with a mission. That's attracting them too. You have some sort of psychic ability or some sort of gift. Like your intuition is very strong. Very, very strong intuition. And some of you even have psychic dreams or psychic abilities. All right. Why does cancer need to know? Like, why, why is this significant? The Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. So I'm getting here stopping something. See, people working together. So I feel like this is coming through. Because it looks like there was something trying to be stopped. Let me see. Yeah, and the deck that I grabbed says self-employment. They could have been trying to stop your bag, stop your money, stop them coins, the pentacles. Somebody was trying to stop your coins, stop your pentacles. That's why they're coming through. They could have been messing with your business or messing with you at work. I feel like there's an issue with the people that like you with this three of cups too. I feel like there's an issue around people liking you. People may even look up to you. And that's another thing that triggers this person. Something is going to get revealed because the next card is the moon in reverse. There's going to be some something that gets revealed. And we can't forget, I'm going to look into the eight of wands for your future position something unexpectedly happened something unexpected happening for you tell me more about what this person was doing yeah see here career there's something around work and look didn't i say trying to stop it that's like new careers in reverse this is someone that you may work with or someone that's envious of your career envious of your gifts envious of what you do Yeah. Oh, look at here. See, what did I just say, right? Trying to stop you. Trying to stop you. But it's like they're doing it in a covert way. But with the moon in reverse, I feel like there's something that's going to get revealed. Uh-oh. Tell me more about why Cancer needs to know about this situation. I mean, aside from um, knowing that they're trying to stop you career-wise, see, loving yourself. I told you, yeah, because you love yourself. Loving me. Isn't that weird? Because you don't beat to anyone else's drum. I mean, literally, you don't beat to no one else's drum. You beat to your own drum. And that is triggering this person. Because you love yourself. This person is envious of that. And so they don't want to see you succeed. They're trying to stop your career. They're trying to stop you from prospering. Well, look, see that? Oh my gosh. Material gay. Yeah, this is someone that lacks emotional intelligence. This is someone that lacks emotional intelligence. And I feel like they're trying to mess with your, like I said, your coins. They're trying to mess with your coins. They don't want you to get this material gain. They don't want to see you successful. So rather than focus on their own self, they're going to focus on you. They're focusing on you, trying to stop you from gaining. Some way, somehow, this person is doing something. 
they could even be remember we saw too with the people they could be trying to get other people to turn against you and that's why i felt like an energy of people looking to you admiring you liking you this person is giving to other people getting in their ear to try to turn them against you if especially if you have a business they may be contacting your customers contacting your clients or inboxing people on social media about you trying to turn them against you though but i feel like they're using a fake account They could also be working with another person for some of you. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's like they're wrapped up. There's something going on. They could be working with another person. All right, let me pull one more card before I move on. Pop up. See, un see, spontaneous, unexpected, surprise visit. That's what I was telling you guys about something happening for you. And just as I said it, as about moving on, I feel like. It's time to move on from this. Spirit is saying, you can move on from this. I just wanted to bring this to your attention. That there was someone trying to stop your back. Someone that's jealous of you. Trying to block you by, by your material. But they can't. Because there is something unexpected. That's going to be happening for you. And we saw that in the future position. This post person will be exposed. The moon is in reverse. It's going to come out. Allow it to unfold. It's going to come out. They're going to get exposed. People are going to see the real though. So the near future shows the eight of wands. And we already saw spontaneous. Tell me more. We got the page of pentacles. And then we got the magician coming through. So I feel like cancers. I feel like there is some sort of unexpected setback financially. And we already saw that there were some things going on with you money-wise. That's why I said this person is going to get exposed. But the thing about it is, keep in mind that there is going to be some sort of unexpected news financially. The magician is showing up. So that's telling me that there is some sort of magic. And I'm talking about spiritual magic. Something spiritual going on that's going to assist you in manifesting to overcome whatever your enemies or people are trying to do with you. See, look, yeah, see the four of cups? You're pulling it in. Yep, you're pulling it in. They won't win. See, someone is going to be mad that they could not block your blessing. Didn't I tell you something spiritual is helping you? Look at this, the star card. That's a blessing. Someone is looking like, how did you get this blessing? Someone spiritually is helping you manifest this blessing. So yeah, while it, while you're dealing with some unexpected financial setbacks, Spirit is saying, I am here and I am helping you. So there's going to be something that's going to happen out of nowhere spiritually for you to assist in a blessing. Whoever this person is that was trying to block your blessing, it's not going to work. It's not, you're going to have to look to heaven. You're going to have to look to God when this, because some of you are already in it. You may already be experiencing some sort of financial difficulty, but God is saying there's an unexpected blessing. Whatever it is that you're going to be struggling with financially, there will be an unexpected, unexpected blessing to assist you. I feel like that's why this external thing came through to let you know someone is trying to mess with you financially, but, but God is going to help assist you. And there's going to be a blessing that's going to come out of it. And look, they're going to be miserable because they tried. See, the Four of Cups is about missed opportunities. They tried to cause you to miss your opportunities and it did not work. So now they're going to have to watch you experience all these blessings that's coming into your life. All right. So let's get, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get two cards for you. More on what's coming your way. And I want to know about this blessing just a little bit. Um, let's first look into the blessing a little bit more. Rising from the ashes. Being offered a second chance. The end of despair. What was lost being restored. What was lost rising from the ashes. Boundaries. Boundaries, loving yourself, learning to set boundaries with people. 
Yep, see, someone was playing with you. Playing with your money. Wanted to see you lose. They kept trying. They kept trying. But you have favor. And I'm seeing here with this Eight of Wands, look at how it's going to all start coming in. It's not going to be just one thing. I feel like your life is going to, this unexpected um, blessing is going to affect a lot of different areas of your life. Tell me more about this blessing. You're going to rise from the ashes. It's not just going to say, oh, let me just give you the money to cover this one situation. You're going to have more than enough. A lot of different things coming your way that's going to be good. Some of you are going to be taking some time off. Because look, round and round, kept having to go learn lessons, kept having to experience trial after trial, obstacle after obstacle. It was going round and round. There's going to be an opportunity to take some time off, to get away from that, and to really be able to rest. Taking time off to relax, taking care of yourself first, doing things that make you happy, you're going to be enjoying life more. From having gone through this karmic cycle and repeating lessons or having to learn lessons. It's like you're going to get a break from that when this opportunity or this blessing comes your way. And we got here self-image. See, justice. Yeah, see, I told you there is someone that watches you because they don't like themselves. They don't like themselves. See, focusing on what you can change. Superficial conflicts. Insecurity issues. I felt like there was someone that was watching you. But you got karmic justice. Wrongs being made right. You will be vindicated. Getting what you deserve. Learning karmic lessons. So however you reacted to this person, rather than going round and round, kept you know doing the same thing i feel like you, how you reacted was this way i'm going to be happy and unbothered and because of that pow here comes that pop up here comes that blessing and here comes justice look you going somewhere some of you are going to be going on vacation long distance travel wanting to escape a new adventure a journey to the next level i like this for you guys look i told you lightning Sudden, fast change. That's what I'm saying. A lot of things in your life are going to start to change. Taking quick action, shocking moments, love striking unexpectedly. All right. So let me get what is the prophecy. Let's predict. Let's get a prediction for the viewer. Whatever this reading is for, let's get a prediction. Uh -oh. let's say what is this month we're in may let's get a prediction for the next two weeks in may or whenever you watch this video let's just predict the next two weeks because readings are fluid um and let's see the next two weeks of when you watch this video it said oh i like it i like it for you guys <laughs> It says, your prayers and wishes have been heard. What you've been manifesting, baby, that. <laughs> what you have been manifesting. What I tell you? What you've been manifesting with the magician. The magician. There it is. Your prayers. What you've been manifesting will soon be delivered. Will soon be delivered. And it says here, you will soon embark upon a creative project that will enrich your life and benefit you in a prosperous way. I told you it's going to be multiple things. Yep, a time of expansion and strengthening your spiritual abilities. I feel like that's where that spiritual, uh, I mean, that's where that creative project is going to come through. Because like I said, it's going to be multiple things that's going to be happening. So especially when you take time off and relax, you're going to be getting ideas to do things. You're going to get some sort of idea. And it's going to help with you expanding. It's going to lead to you being able to grow spiritually, prosper. It's going to benefit you. And that's why I was saying right here. <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, someone trying to. Wait, where is it? Uh, I can't. Remember the four of cups. I'm trying to find that. What did I do with it? All right. Well, anyway, I was showing. I was going to show you how they kept trying to block you but not being able to block you because you're manifesting you're a manifester all right so i'm going to close out with the final message for you guys what they want you to know whoever um higher power you subscribe to what do they want you to know what does cancer need to know 
So the next two weeks we got here, prayer, wish being heard, embarking on some sort of creative project. That's going to strengthen your ability. But I feel like it's going to be multiple things that's going to be happening for you. Um, what they want you to know is break free. I'm here to free you from becoming a slave to your everyday duties and wasting away into lifelessness. So that opportunity that's going to come your way is going to help you break free from whatever it is that you were doing or experiencing that you were unhappy with, that you were miserable in. There's an opportunity that's going to come your way, things that's going to be coming your way, not just a opportunity, but there's going to be multiple things coming your way to break you free from this lifelessness that you were experiencing, not feeling happy, constantly under attack, money issues, health issues. It's like all of these problems. But here comes this blessing to help free you. And we're seeing here mental clarity. I'm improving your mental clarity and focus to inspire wise decisions in the face of uncertainty. I'm helping you keep the faith even when you cannot see what's behind the veil. All right. Oh, and look, creativity was next. I'm here to awaken your untapped creative expression and open your world to new possibilities. You guys got a lot to look forward to. I feel like if you knew what was coming your way, regardless of like how you feel now, you would be so overjoyed by what's coming your way. It's just a matter of keeping the faith and making wise decisions in the face of uncertainty. And what was the next one? Yeah. All right. I hope that helps someone out there. I wish you the best for whoever this reading is. Take care of yourself, everyone that watched. I will catch you guys in the next reading. Bye.